before you start talking about regulation, you really need to think about the client. And certainly in all of our work and um, all of our strategy work in particular, you know, the client is at the center of, of what we try and achieve. Um, certainly there's, there's going to be quite a lot of change coming. I mean, we've already seen um, a huge amount of change up in Hong Kong, for instance, with the, the uh, GN15, GN16 um, over the last couple of years, and that's affected the market and changed the market. Um, but not all of this is, is necessarily bad. Um, it's, it's simply regulation, um, and regulation tends to do a number of things. Um, firstly, um, gives the client um, a much better looking approach to, to what it is that they're, they're purchasing and the advice that they're gaining. Uh, but also for the insurance companies, um, the fund houses, um, the advisors, it gives a great deal of opportunity as things change. Um, and so, um, yeah, we're not we're not afraid of, of any of the regulation. Um, we'd uh, we'd like to there to be a total clarity, which obviously there isn't at the moment in the UAE, but we're very very close to that now. I think the, the good thing about regulation is that what, what comes with it is generally much better disclosure of, of everything. And for a, a client, a potential purchaser, that's always a good thing. Um, and you can go back into the early 90s when um, disclosure of commissions came into the UK. Um, I, I remember, unfortunately, because <laughs> I'm old enough. But um, back back then, you know, there's a lot of angst in the advisor community. People were worried um, about the effect it would have on on their business. And in actual fact, business went up um, in the in the in the following year after that was implemented. Yeah, so Hansard has been around for 30 years and uh, always in the international markets, um, set up in the Isle of Man. And we have offices all over um, Asia, from, uh, from Tokyo, um, Hong Kong, uh, Kuala Lumpur. Uh, we have an office in Dubai um, and then back in the Isle of Man, uh, covering the rest of the world. Um, you would have seen recently, we set up a, an alliance with a local insurer uh, called Union Insurance. And, um, and Union Insurance um, now carries effectively um, our systems and our reinsurance serving the UAE market. Um, but equally, we're very interested um, in the rest of the region, um, which is, you know, a, a region where you find all manner of um, different types of clients, from, from localised clients, um, expatriate clients, and companies employing them as well. Personally, I've lived there for, for just over 12 years now and um, as, as a place to base yourself for a global business, which is what I use it for, it's awesome because you literally can, can fly to anywhere in the world without changing uh, flights. So as a, as a base for the world, it's incredibly useful. Um, but just as a, a region generally, if you take the Middle East and Africa together, um, what I've found over those 12 years and now is that there are many, many people that just simply want to do things. A very proactive business community throughout not just the UAE but all of the various countries. Uh, and people that are you know, hungry to go out and do something different, uh, to make a difference. Um, and that permeates through what I've seen every single industry, um, ours and, and all of our clients' industries. So you find um, clients that are um, itching to get things done. Um, you find advisors that are looking for people to help um, and you find um, insurance companies and fund houses who are you know, eager to, to change and make things better for people. Um, so it's a, it's a region that has a lot of energy. Um, there are still plenty of ways that um, you can grow your business um, and plenty of, of, of ideas that haven't yet been employed. Uh, so I think that's why it's so exciting. But whenever new regulation or new taxes come in, um, someone has to pay. So, um, uh, of course, there'll be natural rumblings uh, throughout the entire business community and the entire value chain. So that, that's nothing new. Um, the way in which people are approaching it, I, I actually think in the UAE is actually quite pragmatic. Um, uh, but with different different versions of, of, of the future. Um, 
We're all just waiting for the UAE regulator to uh, gazette um, the circular that they're going to gazette so that we have clarity around that. If, if costs um, increase um, and margins go down, um, there has to be something that, that tries to help um, companies, advisors and individuals out of that. Um, and technology you know, certainly can do that. So um, we certainly are looking at ways in which we can use our already um, incredibly um, well-developed technology to, to help that situation um, in the product development um, process coming into 2018.